Welcome back to the show with Poppy and Mike. I'm delighted to say we're now joined by Matt Chorley. Welcome, Matt. Hello. And, and uh, Matt is a, a man of many parts, broadcaster, journalist and comedian. So he's got a tour which is called Pole Dancer and you need to spell pole for us. Yes, P-O-L-L. -L. Right. So, no oh, there it is. Look, there we OK. Are. No sexy dancing, just sexy dating. It's a really clever time. I'm kind of jealous of that. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought of that. That's smart. So tell yeah. us, I was going to say, what are you covering? But it's, you're going to get into politics, right? Yeah, so I've spent 20 years, almost 20 years uh, in Westminster. I was like, only four when I started. <laughs> and uh, so I've been a journalist in, in, in Westminster for a long time. And about four or five years ago, I started turning it into a live show. So the third tour that I've done. Brilliant. And in an election year... We're going to be talking a lot about opinion polls and, and all of that. And you've got some interesting stats on, on for example, leave, leave voters are more likely to believe in the Loch Ness Monster. Yeah, so I love... So, uh, you know, obviously we look at the polls, we know who's up, Keir Starmer's up, you know, Rishi Sunak's down or whatever. But uh, pollsters poll, you know, other things all the time. So they ask the question, do you believe in the Loch Ness Monster? And leave voters are much more likely to believe in a, in a fantasy for which there's... Do you think does that make sense it's to you, Mike? Um, <laughs> not really, because there isn't a Loch Ness monster. So uh, I, cool. I would, I would take it as an indication of the fact that they're not, they don't know what's going on. <laughs> well, quite. There is, exactly. there I is saw no a poll that said, on monster. this, that the one thing you're looking for, what is the one thing that Leave voters all have in common? And the answer is they tend to be much more likely to believe in hanging. Yeah. Capital punishment. Hanging the Loch Ness monster. What are you hanging? Yeah. So <laughs> conservative <laughs> voters are more likely to make workmen a cup of tea. Yeah. So this is great. So they Go asked. On. You have asked if you have a tradesman round, <laughs> do you offer them a drink? And Tory voters, Leave voters, much more likely to offer a drink than oh. a Labour voter. Yeah. I don't. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense to me at all. I always, at all. I always this is why it's offer interesting. tea, coffee. Well, yeah. I don't know what your political persuasion is, though. Clearly on the left. Okay. Oh, yeah. Clearly on the left. Yeah. Okay. So. You also, this is a great one, but Matt has tried out this nightmare fast. People oh, are saying, so why is Sunak this? not on his game on Mondays? Mm. And he's not eating. So the Sunday Times reported a couple of weeks ago that he does a 36-hour fast from 5 o'clock on a Sunday night till 5 o'clock on Tuesday morning, he fasts. That's how he keeps in shape. So as a method journalist, I thought I would try this myself. I brought forward my... Sunday roast, so five o'clock I stopped. Right. I had nothing right. at all. Just once, or you did it a few weeks? No, I did it for one. No, because the morning after I finished doing this, yeah. Rishi Sunak goes on the telly and reveals he eats nuts oh. while he's doing oh, it. No. Yeah, Jeez. worse so, than that. So hang on, five o'clock <laughs> from Sunday to Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday Monday, 5 a.m. No, nothing. nothing. So well, that's 36 nuts. hours, right? Well, he has nuts. So I messaged a very senior person in Downing Street and said, what's all this about nuts? And they said, it's not just nuts, he eats apples as well. Oh, oh no. What a cheese. And that's just... That's so just what happened to you eating. when you were on it? Well, I, I was very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait, did you find... You, did you have brain exactly, fog? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, so by the afternoon... You can't run a country with brain by, fog. By the afternoon, I wouldn't have wanted a phone call to say, you know, Putin's on the phone. No, I was, I was, no, no. I was <laughs> Can you bit... imagine if something had happened on the Monday? But it was because I wasn't eating nuts and apples. Oh, mm. well, he's so with cheating. It, every time we have special guests in, we always ask for election predictions, right? And we mm. always... We set it up by saying, if you look at the last election, 2019, Conservatives roughly 365 seats, high point. If you look at the 1997 election, low point, they had 165. So it's a beautiful little range. 365, 165. Where are you, Matt, in that range? Well, where were the Tories? Are? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming you only think they go below 165, or do you maybe? I don't. I think, uh, oh, it's a good question. I haven't really thought about it in that terms before. I mean, 200 maybe? Two, so how many Tory seats after the next election, Mike Parry? Um, I think it'll be more than that. I think, as you say, I'm not writing the Tories off absolutely because I believe in the silent majority in this country and I still think there's a huge silent majority. Because you're part of that, of course, you don't make much well, noise. No, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm a small C Conservative, but remember, the whole of the Red Wall are small C Conservatives. Yeah. It's going to take an awful lot for them to get back and vote for Keir Starmer. I'm not even predicting that Labour will win the next election right. outright. So I'm just, uh, in that we're just focusing on Tory seats here. I'm hearing you're, you're thinking they may get 300. Well, I would say about 275, 280 wouldn't be out of the question. Right. OK, what about you? I'm going 265 because it's a nice, neat number. Two, so, OK, I, yeah. I'm starting to think they're going to go below 165. Ooh. Really? I'm starting to think they're going to be on 120. Oh, right. No, I know, I, that, I, I know I, it sounds crazy. No, no I, can't, I can't ever see that happening. I mean, 
Uh, again, you know, you, you, if you read all the newspapers and watch all the political programmes, you'd think that. But the silent majority will come out, and Keir Starmer... <laughs> but they're not silent. They're already saying... Nearly half so of people angry. are saying they're going to vote Labour. Y yes, but... <laughs> I don't know if they exist, Mike, you know. No, yeah. they do, because... People only say the silent every majority, poll... they discover that not that many people agree with them. Every, <laughs> every poll says that Keir Starmer is deeply unattractive... That is to true. ..most of the voting population. Most of them. Right. OK. Yeah. So tickets for Matt's pole dancer tour are available now? Yes, available now, mattjolly.com. Brilliant. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much. OK, let's talk about the papers and, and other things. Oh, here's one for you. Politics. Westminster.